we are gonna be doing a DIY bob. I'm gonna show you how simple it can be in five easy sections. Let's talk about the sectioning. Okay, now, I've already pre-sectioned this off. I first started off by doing this top section, and this goes from recession to recession. Best way to find your recession is to kind of follow where it really curves around. So that's essentially where your recession is gonna be. What I did is I actually took this right above the crown and right, so your occipital bone is about right through here. So you want to have this section here, that's gonna be number one, and then you're actually gonna create this number two section right through here. Now these side sections, you can actually see where it comes right behind the back of the ear. You wanna put that ponytail right in that corner. Then this last section, this section right through here, which it actually comes right down to the center, and you can see that. With these three sections exposed, probably gonna be cutting it about where this mannequin ends or a little bit shorter, is we don't really wanna make it to where it's an extreme graduation. And what I mean is that this kind of like extreme from like short to like long. So if you put all three of these together, you're gonna get it a lot longer in the front because it's gonna be traveling a lot further. So we actually wanna keep from doing that to where it's actually just a little bit longer in the front, not an extreme kind of like A-line, where that's why we're gonna be doing it in three. So we have this one right here, and then we have that one, and then we have that one. So it doesn't have to travel as far. Hope that makes sense. Here we go. So really what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna come in and we're just going to cut that blunt straight off, okay? Now, what we can do to kind of help soften that up just a little bit, you can actually come in, you can kind of spread that out, and then you can kind of point cut really soft, just like that. Now, with you bringing that hair to the point, it'll have like this subtle, it'll be a little bit shorter right through here, and then it'll kind of taper out just a little bit. We're just basically going to kind of connect those points. And we're basically just kind of eyeing it, right? It's not gonna be 100% perfect, but it's gonna be close. And then we point cut right into that, just to kind of help soften that. Same kind of concept. And again, I'm not going super deep with my point cutting. So that's essentially gonna be your perimeter. Now what we wanna do, holding this, we're gonna graduate that up just a little bit, just like that, to where you can still see a little bit of your guide coming through. I kind of point cut right into that. Because everything that I want to do up until this point, want to make this, this right through here is soft as it kind of starts to go up. So take this, comb this out, add it right here into this one. We can see, so we can see our guide underneath and then we want to point cut. Take out this ponytail right through here. Go ahead and take out these two, just like that. Let's take out that one. All right, guys, so after you kind of like, after you take out those ponytails, basically kind of brush that out just a little bit like this. And we are going to see, and again, what I told you before, it's not gonna be 100% perfect because there's still some over direction happening. Let me just kind of show you really quick what happens when you have some of that over direction happen. So with that top section, especially right through that front area, that, cause that section is going back just like that, that's gonna create some long hair that kind of hangs over your initial length. 
So what you can do to just tidy that in just a little bit is go ahead and just brush this straight down just like this and you're going to see, and this is why point cutting is so important, is that you're gonna to start to see where your general line is at, just like that, and I'll just go in and I'm just going to snip and just kind of cut a little bit of that. I will do a majority of it dry, but I'm just gonna kind of show you, you just kind of point cut right into that. Super, super simple. Cut in right in through there. And I'm not taking it, I'm not making it 100% perfect yet because I want to dry it and kind of see that. So, and I'll go and I'll show you, but I'll just do it roughly just on wet hair, just so I can really see exactly what's happening. And you can see right through here, right? We've established our line along the bottom and I'm just going in and I'm just kind of point cutting very subtly right through here same kind of concept and just taking off just a little bit of that length to kind of balance it out a bob length through here and we still got that texture along the bottom with that weight by doing those five sections let's go ahead and dry this guys cool things about what I did with this blow dry is that I took my brush okay now the cool thing about this is it's a dual dual bristle brush it's got bore and nylon it's not ready to release yet it's been taking forever anyways but the concept behind it is that instead of using this oval portion right here to really get a bevel on the hair I just blew dry the hair right here in the center portion and I blew it straight you know what I mean? To give an illusion of almost a flat iron look to it, to where you have the ultimate texture. And I've been doing this a lot in the salon and people absolutely love it. Because again, it just gives a very full kind of look to the hair without going to this typical bobbish kind of look. Now, again, is this absolutely perfect? Not yet, but you can see how there's still some long bits in there. That's why when I get it dry, I can go in there and detail all of that but it is so close, it's like 90% there. What I like to do, I will brush this down where the hair lives. So I'll just kind of brush it down straight and then I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to point cut very subtly. Now again, if you don't want that much length in the front, then just take more off. I personally, my aesthetic with this, I want a little bit more length in the front. Brush that down, just straight like that, and then just go in and just take as much as you need to take off to really get it to match on both sides. That's number one, you wanna make sure that it's balanced. Same concept, I can brush this down just like that and I can just kind of point cut, really subtle. And when it comes down to getting a textured bob by doing five sections, boom, this is your haircut right here. The other thing is that I like to do is then now, you know, there's a couple points in the back that I'm just gonna kind of bring up some of those. Now this kind of detail work you don't really wanna rush through this. Take your time when you're really just trying to prefer, perfect this. Now, cause one of the things like, what I'm, I'm just basically blending some of these points up to that very blunt line on the bottom. And again, I love it, absolutely. Love it, guys. So, and you can vary this length to really depending on, 
You know, I mean, again, you could go a little bit shorter, you know, you could go a little bit longer if you need be. Just basically cut those ponytails a little bit longer, guys. Throw a little product in here and let's go ahead and finish this off. It's already looking super dope, guys. Seriously. You know what, you know what I wanna do is I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of shine spray in here. You know, shine spray used to be so big back in the day and it's kind of come back just a little bit, but we are gonna bring this back. A little bit of shine spray and I like to spray a little shine spray from underneath. Really just kind of get it in there. Creates like this kind of cloud. Ah. I love it. I hope you guys do as well. If you guys love this content and you wanna see more of it, hit the super chats, donate to the channel. It basically just allows me to do more of this and just bring my almost 30 years experience to you guys in the YouTube world. Thank you guys. My name is Jake Thompson Hair. Your hair is your most important accessory. Keep it sexy guys. We'll see you in the next video.